after that I haven't entered anything. People keep uh, keep asking me if I'm entering this time around, and it turns out, nope, not this time. Haven't entered anything, all retired, on the mic, having a good time. And we look over and suddenly we got nerds. <laughs> we got nerds with controllers. <laughs> they appear to get your Pokeballs ready. Who do we have? Fiction MacD, PP Leffen. We got the beard Pokemon playing <laughs> Falco. Beard type. Hair type. Actually, we have two beard Pokemon. Oh, that's true. <laughs> and both of them play spaces. Yeah. So uh, then a princess type Pokemon. I don't understand the rock, paper, scissors. Is it like, do it's you feel like going first is really that significant? Someone holds out their hand and I go, if you care that much, you go first. Yeah. Because that's first what off, I tell them. I don't, I don't want anyone to feel like they're beating me before the match starts. So I don't let yeah. them beat me in rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> and then I let them feel like I'm doing them a favor. So that puts me in the position of superiority. That's psychological stuff, man. Yeah. You got to be on it. That kind of reminds me of like uh, in an interview, Mango said uh, whenever he beats someone, he tells them what counter pick they're going to pick depending on their character. Like he already knows. He's like, so yeah, you're going to Dreamland, right? Like, so it kind of gives them that air of like helplessness. You're, you're in his grasp. <laughs> he already knows. All right. So we're going to Battlefield. Nice even stage relatively. And MACD already rocking the down smashes. Although he actually linked that one off of a neutral air trade. So he wasn't just platform spamming. He was, he was going for the placement. In a previous match against Sol and Kai, MACD showed pretty great edge guarding skills on both of these characters. So let's see yeah. he if he can carry that over and into uh, this set. And Fiction likewise. He In game two, he was particularly on with oh. the shine spikes. But... That combo Great ability. Combo. Very scary. And Eleven and PB are very smart players. They are not the types to fall into down smashes for no reason. So, and MACD, you know, he follows the philosophy of if it's going to work, I'm going to do it. And so he's very happy to rely on such a powerful tool like Peach's down smash and doubles. But if he's too much in the habit of relying on it, then he's going to eat a lot of damage early while he adapts and learns to stop. Green team has a pretty dominant lead right now. They're playing so safe. And it, it's hard to find an opening on a Fox to Falco of this caliber. Yeah. They are just so good at placing their aerials in the right spots, making sure they don't leave themselves with uh, an extended amount of lag on their aerials and they're also very efficient at killing you. Yeah, and I mean the between maneuverability, speed, precision, and the ability to be unpredictable. Like they don't just hit buttons, they think about what they're doing and you know that's just besides being part of what makes a great player, that's what makes it a nightmare to fight double spaces. And something I want to point out as a comparison to MacD's previous match. Forty seconds a minute and 40 seconds into their previous match, Falco had one stock on the enemy team. Yeah. A minute and 40 seconds into this match, Falco has four stocks on the enemy team. If and the Falco player can maintain his stocks, it makes this team very, very powerful. Yeah. And, I mean, you see Leff in it, too. Oh, is MacD faking it? Yeah, he's, he's tossing that one out. Not going to burn the energy trying to go for a hopeless 2v1. Poopy said, no SDs allowed on your counter at the end of the game. Hold this laser on your way down. Leffen's, uh, <laughs> Leffen's feeling free to go aggressive. Uh, he's going to take damage. He's going to get opened up. He'll make mistakes. He'll get red. Whatever. PB is there waiting in the wings to just, just nail people. Fiction goes for something laggy. He's going to set up a nice 40% combo. Maybe a spike. MACD's doing something. He's going to shine. Get him up into the air. You know, he's He capitalized so much every time they hit Leffen. Leffen being at two stock. That didn't matter because they always got something out of him taking damage. And then they won their own exchanges on top of that. And you can see MACD and Fiction are strategizing for this next match. And Maybe. the strategy says Dreamland. And with a Peach on the stage, who can blame them? All right, Leffen. Leffen eats that down smash off of the whiff tech. And he's actually off the stage again. Oh. That laser. It <laughs> saved him, but he got him killed. That martyr laser. <laughs> like, it's like, I'll trade my stock for yours, buddy. I love you. Yeah. Teammates for life, Star Fox all day. <laughs> <laughs> Slippy, uh, come back. We'll be on your tail. Oh, okay. oh my god. Oh, but. Oh, that shine <laughs> from Fiction was so Yeah, deep. okay. We have <laughs> drastic 180 here. <laughs> they they got the early kills. <laughs> they're setting up the edge guard. Oh. It's kind of. Okay, let's. Do they have yeah, it? They're trying to figure out the best way to set it up 
so that they don't tack on free damage to each other. Because yeah. normally you would think, hey, I don't care if I up smash my partner if we're ahead, but if you're behind, you don't want to give them free damage. You're yeah. already trying to regain lost ground. Although and I think in the situation where you're trading a stock for damage, I think you should almost always take it. Barring Probably. a few like, last stock exceptions where you're trying to keep your life low. Right. but Fiction with the uh, isolated 1v1 on PP there manages to take it. And here we're kind of seeing uh, the success of getting rid of Falco stocks. Nice tech coming out from Fiction there against that Shine Spike. As a, as a Vox player, you almost always want to try and space your Shine so that it sends them out and not into the level because if they get the tech, they get air dodges, wall jumps, forward Bs, whatever. Fiction but and Mackie, you're wait, 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 wait. You can steal lives in this game? You yes. can. You can uh, steal a life as long as your partner has them and you are dead. You have to wait for a moment. That's why they turn off pause, especially for doubles. Because if you try and hit start when you're trying to take a life and you pause the game, you can kind of ruin it for everybody. That little yeah. clink may have saved Mackie's life there. He's definitely a kill percent. Okay, let's good job at DI. I pointed out PP was on his last stop at 6 minutes and 12 seconds. and I mean, at 7 minutes and 12 seconds, and it's been over a minute now. Yeah. PP has Survivability changed like the a entire champ. dynamic of oh. this match by staying alive. Yeah, manages to get that pack here. Pulled this game back to even stocks. And he's at serious risk of just any stray hit kind of ruining his day. And right now he is in a really bad spot. And Fiction making the target switch over to Leffen. Gets that up smash, but MACD cannot convert it into the edge guard. It is still a 2v2. It oh. was a 2v2 a few seconds ago. For Peaches Forward Air said nay. Vetoed that. And no double jump for Leffen. MACD knows it. Goes straight for that forward air. Nice Great play. coverage. MACD covered the ledge. Fiction stayed on the platform. He's like, if you go straighter up, I am ready to yeah. kick you back off. Just a radically different game from game one. A lot more control. And a lot of those early gimps. Even yeah. though PP and Leffen started bringing it back, so much of a deficit against the, especially against attrition character like Peach. It's so hard when there's a Fox on the enemy team, but whenever you're versus a Falco, it's almost always optimal to try to just get, erase him from the match. Just try yeah. to take those stocks as fast as possible. It is so hard for Falco to recover, especially against Shine on Fox. Like if, Fo if Falco ever has to be. All high-level Fox players are very capable of reacting to the animation and going out there and shining yep. you. So, all right. So this is this promises to be a violent one. I don't know who's going to win, but I can promise you the match is not going to take very long. Yoshi's story <laughs> is a chaotic stage. Uh, Peaches love it more than they used to, and they love it because they cover so much space just by doing anything. First stock going to go against Fiction, and MacD still maintaining a slope can actually have that life. Yeah, that was a great recovery by MACD and great work by Fiction to turn that edge guard around on Leffen. Oh, laser saves Leffen from any potential uh, quick kill from Fiction. All right. And is that going to be the upbeat off the top? No. MACD with a bit of the horizontal DI. Not a high enough percent, not high up, but uh, whatever. Doesn't manage to give the Falco cheese. This is one of those few stages where Peach is extremely gimpable because she can die off the top early to Falco. He's not a character you think when you think gimping Peach. Ooh, and Fiction eats the forward B. As I was saying, he gets this magical gimp on to Peach that like no other character in the game gets with Shine Shine. Fiction having a lot of technical execution errors right now. He's giving PP a chance to run around him a little bit. Yeah. They're keeping the game close, but they're going to need a couple more stock kills to turn it around. All right, and a PP, no double jump. A double stage spike with the FD, or with the up B that is devastating. And th this time he doesn't have his jump again, and Fiction is gimped again. He lost so many stock so fast. What did I tell you? Short game. Oh, Leffen was not ready. <laughs> but still, oh. that was still amazing nonetheless. Great job by Leffen and Peepee. Yeah, just game 